Well, good morning, everyone. With another provincial election looming, another promise today aimed at Ontario workers, exhausted by a pandemic that has blurred the line between work and home. Whether it's setting out-of-office replies or turning off devices, the message is simple. When you're off the clock, you're off the clock. Everyone should be able to unplug at the end of their workday. An enticing prospect, the end to frantically responding to every buzz and beep after hours. But to many who are now used to working from home, the hard line between work and downtime may no longer be desirable. Instead of working from nine to five straight, perhaps you take some time to go pick up your kids from school or to go meet a friend for coffee or do some errands, and then you make up that time in the evenings. The idea of disconnecting would be hard to enforce and even more difficult to implement. If in fact the organizational culture is still one that rewards people that gets it done, okay, then people are just going to continue to get it done, okay? They're going to do it under the table. Some companies are already trying to help their employees to put their phones away. We really do empower employees to say, I'm going to respond to that tomorrow. At Edelman, a multinational advertising firm, employees are asked not to respond to emails between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. We really want to encourage that space because when you have a bit of recharge time, you actually are going to be a better version of yourself for, for our clients. Other countries like France have tried similar legislation to ensure workers are allowed to disconnect with little success because experts say it ignores the real issue. We simply don't have enough staff or people to do the work required anymore, which means that work le leaks into our evenings and weekends. And that problem won't be solved by simply turning off our phones. Jamie Strachan, CBC News, Toronto.